Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. So nothing has finally announced nothing OS 3.0 and it's coming with a lot of new features along with AI implementations. So in this video, we'll talk about every new feature, what nothing will bring with nothing OS 3.0 for nothing smartphones. So here I have my nothing phone 2A and I have been already running nothing OS 3.0 on my nothing phone 2a here you can see it says nothing os 3.0.0 basically this is the close beta testing update and you can see it's based on android 15 which also has the 5th september 2024 security patch we have already done a video on this but there are features what nothing have recently announced and will be making to nothing os 3.0 with the open beta builds if not with the stable version and nothing will release open beta builds next month which is october followed by stable builds in the month of december and guys now before moving ahead if you guys find the content useful to you guys then make sure to smash the like button and also consider subscribing to our channel now let's talk about upcoming features of nothing os 3.0 and guys if you want to know every change what nothing have done with nothing os till now you can watch the video which is being displayed on the screen one major change what nothing have done and that's led to the nothing font now on most of the places nothing have removed the nothing font which i personally like the move from nothing but nothing is coming with a new dot animation with the close beta update nothing have already added the new dot animation while unlocking the device with fingerprint so here you can see this is the dot animation what nothing have added after that they are also implementing the dot animation whenever you plug in the charger so new dot animation will be implemented in the charging animation too along with that they are also adding the nothing dot animation in the weather application i'm not sure whether it will be a dynamic one like the dot animation may represent conditions like sunny cloudy and rainy weather so this thing i'm not sure but they are adding the new dot animation in the weather application also now talking about the locks and customization so currently on this build we don't have any kind of new clock styles but nothing is coming with four new digital clock faces and one analog one and all the clock styles will be centered one instead of being on the left side or the right side and another change what nothing is doing on the lock screen is layered to the widgets area generally we get a very small portion for the locks and widgets but now they will be giving you an option to expand that area and set the locks and widgets as per your requirement or taste Another change what nothing OS 3.0 will be bringing and that's in the quick setting tiles and this is how it will look and I don't think there will be more changes in the quick setting tiles even with the stable build. So here we have lot many options like a single tile to change the ringing mode to vibration, ringing or completely silent. And with nothing OS 3.0 you'll also get to see the option to resize the quick setting tiles. So you can resize as per your requirement most of the quick setting tiles get resized very easily but not every quick setting tile will have the expanded version like how the bluetooth tile appears. And I hope nothing as the sliding gesture to increase or decrease the size of the quick setting tiles instead of this tapping one. And another major change in the quick setting tiles is layer to the brightness slider. So now we have a thicker brightness slider and it also has the auto brightness toggle. If you just tap on this icon, the auto brightness will enable and the same way you can disable it. Another major change what nothing will be bringing that's in the app drawer. So currently on this build which is again based on nothing OS 3.0, we only have an option of suggested applications here on the top side where the system automatically decides the application based on your usage pattern. But now nothing will be adding an option which will let you pin the applications. So for example, if you want some applications to be always on the top, you just have to long press on the app icon and you'll get an option to pin the application. That application will appear on the top side. And now we'll also get to see an app drawer called Smart Drawer, which will automatically categorize your applications in social, games, entertainment and more. And it gives a vibe of iOS. And currently if you see, there are almost 27 widgets of nothing and they are bringing another one which is called countdown widget basically this will help you to track important dates you can also set a date like a birthday or a test reminder and the progress bar fills up as per the time set eventually turning red when the day arrives it's kind of fun and functional way to keep tabs on your calendar after that with the nothing os 3.0 you'll have an option to share the widgets. Currently, if you have any widget and if you long press, you can see there is no share option. But with the upcoming builds, nothing will be adding this option, which will let you share the widgets present on your home screen. You'll also be able to interact with the widgets through emojis. And as I told you guys, the AI implementation is also coming on Nothing OS 3.0 along with the Nothing Gallery application. So currently, you can see there is no Nothing Gallery application on this testing build, but Nothing have confirmed that they are coming up with the Nothing Gallery application. and nothing claims that nothing gallery will open photos 
0.4 second faster when viewing pictures after taking them. Also, HDR and portrait shots processing will be 25% faster what we currently see with the Google Photos application. And talking about AI integration in the Nothing Gallery application, one of them is the AI segmentation. Here, the system will now highlight the key objects in your photos, making it easier to focus on the main subject. And another AI feature which will be coming very soon, that's the AI upscaling and super resolution. Here, this AI feature will enhance the image quality when you zoom in and allow for more detailed edits using AI technology. And the last major change what they have done that's in the settings page. So here you can see this is the new settings page what you'll see on nothing OS 3.0 and I don't think it will be changing with the beta builds or stable builds. I personally like this segregation of how nothing have done. For network we have a different section for customizations different and so on. So guys these are the upcoming features of nothing OS 3.0. Which feature you like the most let us know in the comment section below. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.